Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and they don't give a. Is. Yeah, this what man, this man hit me, with, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. What about it, Brick? And all y'all just watch. What you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? What y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man. Do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? Now, when I first saw this clip, I thought to myself. What did she do to make that man hit her in the face with a brick? You ever fuck with me out of the city ever again? This is for the uh, fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman. I have less privilege than you. Thank you. Oh, I feel bad, <laughs> Yep. I knew immediately when I saw this clip that something was fishy in the air, B. Because for men to just sit around and watch, Something ain't right about this story. You see how aggressive she got at the end when she said F y'all and all that. It's usually, if there's a group of men standing around and they don't help a woman out, the woman had to have usually done something pretty fucked up for the men to not get involved. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men, and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men, like, "Yo, why is this man got a brick on my face?" And he's he's holding a brick, and all these is watching, and nobody does nothing, and he hits me in my face, and they all just watch, and they let that get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? They like don't understand. Like I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago. Like literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody. Like what the fuck kind of shit is this? I'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food. And like I'm literally like, why is this bossing up on me like this? And I'm looking at all these. They literally let this do all of this. They let this like really like do all of that. I never thought it was gonna happen, yo. Like it's so wild. And he's gonna get away with it. He got in a car. He got away. He never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? <laughs> For what? Like, all this violence against black women is not okay. Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, how, what is my defense against this? Still, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for a week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother. I still gotta teach. I still gotta work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody and I don't know why people want to kill me. I can't even chew food the next week. I had a vacation that I planned six months ago for my birthday. I'm so afraid, like, I'm so afraid. Like, why do people want to hurt me so bad? I really love my community and just to know that like people hate me to this level to this kind of level of violence and this is the problem with the believe all women thing i mean listen to the story she said a dude approached her asked her for her number she said no and he suddenly just went and turned into debo from friday looked around and just picked up a brick then asked her what you gonna do now, does that make sense to y'all? Like, does that make sense that a man went and got a weapon and, you know, asked the woman what she gonna do? Like, like that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, let me tell y'all what most likely happened. You know what I'm saying? We're just speculating. She's probably twerking. This is why you gotta be mindful of how you carry yourself, ladies. But let's get back to it. She's probably twerking. 
Dude probably saw her, like what he's seeing, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, okay. So he probably approached her like, hey, yo, what's up with it? Or he may have been disrespectful, might have been drunk about it, you know, was trying to holler at her, whatever the case may be. Nine times out of 10, she probably, you know, she probably did, um, possibly gave him a little, little, you know, uh, uh, a little dance, you know, a little twerk, but at the same time was letting him know, like, you ain't getting a little bit like, yo, this ain't going nowhere. Cause I seen this in the club too. And sometimes people don't be mindful of body language. So, you know, he may have got aggressive with her or she might've got aggressive first. But the point is the way she went about it nine times out of 10 was probably disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like in her story, she said that he asked for her number. She said, no, he went and got a brick and beat her with it. Like that's where it's hard for me to believe. She may have knew, known the dude, she may not, but she also probably said something out of line to him. Now, we gotta be mindful. As a man, if you see another man and that man calls that man a bitch ass nigga, nine times out of 10, I keep saying that, but violence is gonna occur. Sometimes ladies think that they can talk to men as a lady, but be masculine like a man and not expect the same exact result. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying that it can happen. For instance, I have a daughter and I'm gonna teach her, keep her hands to herself. Cause if you hit a man, he can hit you back. Now I'm not saying that, you know, that's fair or it should be like that, but hey, it is what it is. One thing that I took away from this was, you know, uh, I personally think that, you know, she was out here wilding out and, you know, a dude may have approached her, you know what I'm saying? But I think she got disrespectful with him and disrespected him to the point where he felt embarrassment, public embarrassment, and felt like he had to do something. Now, to every man that's watching out there, you should never hit a woman, let alone get a weapon to do it. That's just stupid. But, you know, there are some emotional men out there and there are some men that, you know, they're on the edge with it. And you got to be mindful of the things you say to these men. Just like if you're a man, you got to be mindful of what you say to men as well. You know what I'm saying? It, it, just because you're a female, don't think that you get away with saying anything you want. You know what I mean? Just because you're a woman and you feel like uh, men shouldn't hit women. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's just my take on it. Wait, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all feel like she did something to deserve this or y'all feel like this is most likely unjustified. You know what I mean? Because I will acknowledge that I could be wrong to a small degree. I do think that, you know, it's a possibility. But after I've seen those other clips of her just randomly hitting people, she probably hit the right one and, you know, got the Debo break. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.